If I like New World's world and PvP, would I like this? I don't know enough about New World to answer that. Um, are, are you asking me comparing to Guild Wars 2, which is what we were just talking about, or are you asking me comparing to Path of Exile, which is what I've got on the screen right now? I like the Y play vid in some wild discords. Oh, really? Nice. I hope they liked it. The boiling lake. You know what? Let's uh, let's change the cosmetic on the skeletons. Let's do uh, let's do the mannequins. Oh, blood and sand. I forgot about that spell. Guild Wars 2, my bad. Really kidding for a YouTube video. Nice. What's up, Rotisserie? Um, alright, so... I don't know enough about New World to answer that. I will say, Guild Wars 2 has Conquest, which is like... It's kind of like WoW's Battleground system, you know? It's got, um... You know, it's 5 versus 5. There's ranked and unranked. And then occasionally they do mini-seasons of 2v2 or 3v3. Um... Then there's World versus World. Uh, World v. World is massive scale, you know, like, it's three servers clashing, and so it's like 50 versus 50 versus 50, three-way battle. Uh, and, you know, there'll be, like, towers and keeps and catapults and sieges and all kinds of, of crazy stuff. And if you like really large-scale stuff, like maybe, you know, uh, you're like, I'm not much of a duelist, but I really love healing a group of my friends while they massacre other people, you know, you could still have a lot of fun in there. So, I'm not sure what New World offers, but hopefully somewhere in there I might have answered your question. Local. Need your aid. Alright, we've got another dig here. Uh, I can hit four of these shrines with one charge. Risky choice. Can I get that yellow? Oh man, that's a bugger. Okay, can I get these two then? Where's the detonator? Dude, I can't see! Oh, there he is. There's so much crap here. That's all available in the free base game. Can I invite friends to play the base game? Yes. So, the base game does have PvP, and it does have World v. World. You can actually do PvP... Um... I think... Oh, gosh. I think as early as level 2, you can queue for PvP, and while you're in there, it scales you up to level 80. So, like, for example, I came from WoW, and in WoW, if you, you're like, alright, I, I want to PvP, uh, like, I main a warrior, but I want to PvP on a mage, I had to go level a mage. In this game, you don't have to level something uh, for PvE if you just want to PvP on it. Um, and now, if you're in PvP, you uh you and you don't have the the expansions you won't have access to the talent trees that come from the expansions now it, those trees give you are not necessarily better but they're they're options you know like when you take one you give up something else so you'll be in there and people call when you're when you're pvp without the expansions people will call you a core player uh the, and then, uh, you know, with expansions, they'll they'll call it. So like, there's a, there's core ranger, then there's soul beast, which is a uh, heart of thorn soul beast, and uh, there is uh, druid, which is the path of fire one. I might have those backwards. Doesn't matter. Uh, you get the idea. And funny enough, the place where core builds work the best is PvP. Like that that sort of it just absolutely works the best more than any other place. Rotisserie, thank you for the tier one sub. Muckle Douglas, but that'll be Reginald. That's why the fourth doesn't touch me. It's the third one. Cause you rotisserie back to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay. Entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers. Don't touch the speakers. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the itch. Mm. But yeah, if you uh, if you and your friends all want to try the core game without like you know spending any money first, you can absolutely do that. And that right there is my referral link, if you happen to do that. But do what you will. Sounded like you said someone without expansions was called a poor player. No, core. Core. Like the core of an apple. <laughs> the poor player. Look out, there's a poor guardian on the enemy team. Watch out. 
Don't let him flank you, he's poor. Uh, is movement uh, click a base or WASD? In Guild Wars 2, it's usually WASD with, um, you know, you can uh, move the mouse to steer where you're facing. Uh, POE, which is what I'm playing right now, is uh, point and click. Alright, that was the prophecy guy. Wish you could use WASD and POE. Mm. Man, if, if I played an action RPG with WASD, I don't know if it would feel like an action RPG anymore. That'd be weird for me. Oh, I see an incursion. Uh, yep. Alright, I know what to do. So this is an interesting thing. Basically, she teleported us into a temple in the past. And you are going to... Essentially, there's two people here in power. And you kill one of them, which lets the other one rise to power. And then that is going to change what this place is like in the present. By helping one of them rise to power, you basically will uh, influence the loot that's there in the present day. I think we got them all. All right, so I'm gonna teleport back out. So now we're back in present time, and essentially we're we're just manipulating this temple, and this is what it looks like right now. So that room just changed. Do you see that? So that room is different now. And once we've done uh, a certain number of these temples, we you get to go in and do the whole place that basically you help design via time travel. There you are. Ready to reap. Time to go. Welcome to Arrival, hello! A little bit. Uh, Alright, we could also, we just got a stone of passage, which lets us open a door. So now back in present day, this, back in present day, that will not be sealed. Otherwise, it would be a closed wall. Good job. Uh, how many more incursions? Three remaining. So three more of those before I can do the whole temple. Thank you for all the help downloading now, you see referral. Sure, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, if you need any help, you know, you're always welcome to ask me while I'm live. Um, additionally, this is the website. I've made like a hundred guides for Guild Wars 2, many of them for new players. You might find them useful if you want more help. Uh, otherwise, you know, do what you will. But we've got a bunch of them there for people like yourself. Uh, the Vastiri Desert. Is that where I came from? That's where I came from. 
So I'm looking for not the Vasiri Desert, not the Boiling Lake, but something else that's connected to this zone. Teleport up here and then call... Oh, a map. We're getting some map drops now. What am I... Level am I... I'm 69! Nice. When I'm ready and not I love when it's like, oh, hey, a yellow mob, and I send the Reaper in with the right click, and she's like, and one shot. <laughs> And you're gone. Oh, I see a corrupted area up ahead. Uh, let's put a point in that for more life, bringing us up to 3,078. A good start. I need to start using an aura at some point. I have to figure out what I want to use, like... Most of my damage is definitely physical. Well, uh, the, the Skitterbot's flame aura, which is like just hitting the whole screen, that's fire. The Reaper and the Skeletons do physical. But the Reaper's also doing poison and bleed, and the, the bleed is physical, the poison is chaos. So I'd say, like, for clear, probably fire is my highest thing. But for, like, bringing down one big boss, it's probably physical or uh, poison is the biggest thing, I have to guess. Do you make your own builds? You follow a template. I definitely make my own. Um, I, I take advice from people. Sometimes people walk in. Uh, like, last league, I was playing. I was just doing my thing, and someone popped in. And they're like, Muck, did you know this? what you're doing right now works really good with Impale? And I was like, no. I've never I've never messed with Impale. And they're like, yeah, if you ba 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 and I tried it, and it was like a big damage increase. I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep running that. Thanks. So it, it was like I inadvertently made something really close to an impale build, which is very strong. And someone straightened me out, and I, I went doing my thing. But I, I, I find, and this is just a me thing, I enjoy the game a lot more if I'm just like... I'll try that, you know, rather than like going to a cookie cutter thing and then just, uh, you know, copying the talents down to the letter without any thought behind it. Um, it's like, I think, granted, like if I copy a build and then I kill like the Elder of the Shaper, I'd probably really enjoy the, the fact that I get the kill. Uh, but if I get almost to the Elder on just doing whatever just feels right to me and it, you know, it kind of works, it, it's very, very satisfying. Like, you know, like, oh man, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, but it looks like I made some good decisions because I got this far, you know? It's my lucky day. But I definitely do not try to discourage people from doing the copying thing. Like, cookie cutter builds become cookie cutter builds because they're powerful. So, like, often if someone's like, oh, how do I start? I'm like, oh, you know, you could do this, this, and this, and, you, you know, make mistakes and learn from it. Or if you want to copy something else, you could, you know, and I, I you know, just, I point them to that if Can't that's what they want. Uh, running monster fifty percent chance to drop additional currency. Let's see, can I reach? Yeah, Jackpot. barely. Barely. Ooh, she took half of that guy's. Health. Whoa! I almost died. Holy crap! Oh my goodness. And I'm still, what is that, am I bleeding? I think I'm bleeding. Is 
Something I learned earlier by just like trial and error. Uh, it's like the Reaper skill. I can click this and she dashes and slashes, which is her hits like a truck ability at any time. Um, but I found that I should be clicking that exactly on a mob, not just like try to do it right in front of them. Because if the mob teleports, she'll teleport with it and still land the attack. And I didn't realize that for a while. Good luck. I was missing out. I'll have to get that in a second. What is this? Victoria's Flight. Uh, no. We'll not be using that. Yes. yes. And ball. Wait, what is this? Oh, blood and sand. Uh, can't see the uh, different ones to me. Late skills, your stance using this skill again. I'll change to blood stance, stance, stance. Wait, 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 wait. Did they change this? Was this one of the skills they changed? Hang on. Uh. Hang on a sec. Victoria's Fight is also on your animated Guardian because it moves speed boss all your minions. Yeah, just not when your Reaper will eat your animated Guardian. But that's cool, I didn't know that. Uh, hold on, where is the super long list of changes that they released a while back? Uh, Secrets of Code, launch day... That's not it. That's not it. Tune in. Found it, full patch notes. Here we go. All right, uh, blood and sand. Oh, okay, let's just search for sand. Really? The word sand is nowhere on this document? Did they not change it? I swear blood and sand used to reduce incoming damage from enemies that weren't in melee range when you were in sand stance. But now it's, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of a different skill. I don't know, crazy? You're thinking of flesh and stone. Thank you. That that's probably it. That's probably it. Remember humanity. Thinking of a different skill. I was just sitting here like, am I going crazy? Time to go. When I'm ready, and not before. Life is short, deal I love how the Reaper is smart enough to not just walk up to the first mob and spin, but she swings around to the other side of it, so she hits it and the things behind it when she does the spin. Like, she, she makes sure that she's in between a couple of them before she does that. It's nice. Alright, and then that changed to Department of Thaumaturgy. The tunnel. I think this might have been what I was looking for. Yep. It's also, another thing I like about the Reaper is it's kind of like she's got the Feeding Frenzy gem for free. Like, she is just super aggressive. She will go screens away to hit things. charge at the wall so it didn't hit that guy.
That fire. Oh my gosh, the Skitterbots almost killed everything in that hallway before we got to it. You're alive. All right, what do we got? Uh, increase XP, uh, essences, pack size, uh, chest jewelry, chest quantity. Okay. Essences. Yep, Muttering Essence of Contempt. Which one's that? Uh, that's bonus physical damage. Bummer. Not what I need. I'll put it in the tab, though. Haha, <laughs> she one-shot that back. Six socket silks. Not so slink though. The alarms would have gone crazy for that. Let's get the waypoint in the middle. And there's a crafting recipe over here. Mark, did you see Joesis' latest ridiculous build just for the league marked? Um, this may sound novice of me, but I don't know who Joesis is. I probably have not. Shrine of the Winds, I remember this boss. Much bleed, much poison. Gift for you. Two of the three reaps have whiffed because of her teleporting. Poison and bleed, though. It's nice. He's not making a really intricate spellcast loop and one shot builds. You were too the only thing I can think of like that that I have seen before, uh, Iowa Power Up Filter, is that guy that made. There was a YouTube video that went around, and even I saw it, that it was like, um, this build keeps looping, but you have to kill the enemy before the game crashes. <laughs> like, it, it, it basically did just like infinite hits. Uh, if I have a chance to evade attacks, you've taken a savage hit recently. Now I'm gonna keep what I, I think I'm gonna keep what I got. So I, I might have seen one of his videos by the description. That was Zadrisa's video. Okay, so I've seen one video of his work then. Uh, strong box. Let's slap a transmutation on that. Mm, nothing crazy. All right. You're making me want to try this build. It looks so cool. My summoner build. I'm just winging it, man. I don't know how far it'll get me, but I'm having fun right now. Basically throwing skeletons, which they do do damage, but they are also food for the Reaper. 
So she eats them whenever she needs to power up, and then she uses that to shred through everything else. Wow, her reap just took half of that guy's health. <laughs> he said, oh, me kidney. Ninja Vanna. You know, if you look the other... Know where you're going? I believe you know it as the brig. Wait, why did I hear something else drop? Oh, I don't know what that was. Uh, let's see. Uh, monsters increase XP, pack size. Hurry, Stacked about. deck. What's up here? Monsters and monsters. The stat deck, that's that's chest. Okay, so if I'm going to go for stacked decks, I need to go for uh, chests. Alright, so I went for as many of the chest markers as I could. And it's kind of funny, the, uh, the, what is the, the combo? Um, summon Skitterbots with Infernal Legion. I just did that because I discovered it last league and I really loved it. And I was like, man, I wish I discovered this earlier on. So I, like, look at, look at the fire. Like, before the Reaper got there, they died. <laughs> like, I didn't expect to be using it till level 69. It's just been unexpectedly effective. At some point, I, I might get to the point where I'm like, alright, I need to turn this off, it's reserving a huge chunk of my mana bar. But, so far it's been pretty great. Oh my gosh, what if I had that ring that lets you put a curse on the skitterbots and have them apply flammability while they're burning everything? That would be pretty, be pretty cool. And not before. Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding profusely. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, picked up all rare imbued wants chance to roll plus one gems is a universal level. Rare imbued wands. Okay. Uh, currently, I've actually got plus one to all cold spell gems, which includes skitterbots. And then I've got plus one to all minion in my hat, and I've got plus two to all minion from my ascendancy at the moment. You look pissed? <laughs> no. Somebody uh, put the fire filter on me. That was good. Look at that. Some of those were dead from the skitterbots before we even got into the room. I wanted to put more support gems on the skitterbot thing, but it makes the mana reservation worse. And after like the fourth support, it was larger than my mana bar, and I couldn't even turn it on. I would need like to to do a full. This sounds so silly. To do a full uh like six socket skitterbot thing, you would need like massive minus mana reservation on it. Logbooks are fun to do. I enjoy the logbooks. I have only been able to find one so far, though. So I should say, I've enjoyed the logbook I did. Apparently they plan to nerf the mana cost. Seems they went too far. Uh, the mana cost of what specifically? Like, do you mean skitterbots or just, like, things? Come on. All right, what do we got? Um, rare weapon, monster drop, monster drop, currency items, currency. Every single thing is monsters. Okay, so 
like that. I'm never against treasure. I want the currency. I was trying to get the, that boss and that boss at the same time, and I was able to do that. 